who had signed the agreement look to forging business to business connections at traders. Kenya Trade Network Agency CEO that is Ishmael Bet says this would open up Kenyan businesses to a 1.3 billion people market, revolutionizing trade without the involvement of infrastructure, which was the biggest deterrent to businesses between the, two, between the countries. After the Africa Continental Free Trade Area was forged in 2018, very little progress has been achieved with the signatory governments convening occasionally to flash out issues hampering this trade. One of the main deterrents was a lack of connecting infrastructure that hampered movement of goods and people. This topped with policy differences, made it close to impossible for Kenyan businesses to advance further than the country's borders. The existing structure, our manufacturing or our B2B commerce in general, has been operating for, for ages in a certain way, relying on distribution networks. And it's hard for them to jump straight away into a direct trade between the manufacturing and the retailer. So they're still hesitating a lot. I mean, the manufacturing themselves, the manufacturers and other wholesalers, I mean the suppliers. Do to make the facilitation easier to get onto those platforms and do the administration for you so that you only have to worry about actually your transactions and no longer about how will I arrange uh, the logistics, but also the customs and the, the taxes and all the other parts and the paperwork that comes with it. So. E-commerce has now been identified as the solution for better business-to-business -business connections within the continent, ensuring cohesive movement of goods and virtual value chains. As Frank already said, we first start with uh, the demand, uh, creating demand. If we do not start with creating demand, people will not want to ship because there's no, nothing to ship, right? So we started that aspect. The second part is, of course, trying to use the platform and see how much we can uh, ease all the issues for transport and other things using technology solutions to ease the issues that you encounter as a merchant or a buyer. The success depends on the way the whole ecosystem, everybody comes together to make a new technology work. We have a platform. But if the sellers do not trust us enough to sell on the platform, we won't have business. So the magic we hope to happen will never happen. They say this will revolutionize investment promotion, allowing for potential mergers and acquisitions within borders. Ibak Said for TV47.